Hey everyone, pleasant good evening. This is going to be a preview to the Phillies and Nationals game as the Phillies try to salvage the series and not get swept by the Nationals. Unfortunately, it looks like our playoff hopes are close to dead. They're not officially dead yet, but I don't see this team winning out, unfortunately. But it's just going to be a quick preview. I know everyone's not as interested about the Phillies as they were, but I am going to do a very interesting video on guys that stood up and stood out this season. Similar to how I do the two-week videos I'm going to start doing on Eagles standouts, but this is just going to be on a season as a whole of guys that stepped up we didn't expect to step up, and then guys that we obviously need to step up going forward that's either going to come out tomorrow or Friday, so stay tuned for that. But anyway, going into tonight's ball game that starts in about an hour's time at 6.05 p.m. as I started recording this, tonight's ball game is is going to be Zach Eflin against Eric Fetty, who's starting to actually look like a quality 4-5 uh, or five guy out there in D.C. Uh, Fetty's been able to pitch more consistently. We know what Eflin can do when he's pitching his best. He just has to keep it down to strike zone, use his breaking ball effectively, and use his sinking fastball effectively as well. So our lineup for tonight is Kutch leading off in left field. Bohm back to third base with JT at first base. Bohm is hitting second at third. JT's hitting fourth at first base with Bryce Harper smack in the middle of them. Hitting third at DH. Diddy Gregorius is hitting five. Mr. Consistency at shortstop out there hitting fifth who needs to be re-signed as well. As much as JT, this dude has been an epitome of consistency and he's been on the field knock on wood uh, more than these other guys coming back from the injury. Gene Segura batting six who's at second base, Jay Bruce, seventh in right field, Andrew Knapp, a guy that certainly will be mentioned in that video, as aforementioned of guys that stepped up and showed out this year, and then Scott Kingery, who's been looking a lot better, his swing path looks a lot better since he's come back from his injury, so hopefully that continues around out the season, hitting ninth, playing center field. For Washington, it is Andrew Stevenson again leading off play and left. Josh Harrison, former uh, Phil, at least for spring training, former Pittsburgh Pirate, of course, bat batting second and playing second. Juan Soto hitting third, playing right field. And then you got Estrubal Cabrera hitting fourth, playing first. Holt playing second, hitting or playing third, excuse me, hitting fifth. And then you got Jan Gomes hitting sixth, catching Luis Garcia playing shortstop seventh. Uh, Yadiel, the walk-off man, Hernandez, unfortunately, uh, at DH. But I do got to say something about him. I understand he's a Nationals player, but he's a guy that tried to make it from Cuba. He's at the age of 32. It seems like he might be able to make a decent name for himself, have a good few year uh, career here, just like Nori Aoki did from Japan when he came over later. So I wish him all the best. Unfortunately, against us, he did get the walk off, though. And then Michael A. Taylor, a Phillies killer in center field, hitting ninth. The Phillies have to figure out a way to salvage this series they have to figure out a way to go out on a high note even if they don't make the playoffs which is not the easiest thing to do they dug themselves into a bad hole now uh they just need to figure out a way to impress us and give us something to use as a beam of light going into next season and i think hopefully we will see that we are going into playing tampa of course after this game and in that first matchup, we haven't had the pitchers announced yet. It's TBD, according to my phone for Friday and Saturday's guys. But we'll see what goes on there. Tampa's going to be resting people, but the Phillies really need to step up and show out to even have a chance against Tampa. But this has been a quick look-ahead video to the Nationals' uh, final game of the series against our hometown Phillies, of course, out there in D.C. They have looked significantly better than us, like spoilers to the season. They have not been better than us throughout the season, obviously. They've been disappointing after the World Series, but they've been significantly better than us after we were better than them in every game against them until this series. So there's just something bad energy going on with this team right now. You can't put your finger um, entirely on it, other than the fact that it's the bullpen's fault mainly, because when you get beat down so much as an offense and an overall team, because something you know is just never going to succeed, that eventually uh, beats you down a little bit too much. But this has been a short look ahead video. Stay tuned for Andrew and I's series reaction that we hope to get out tonight after the National Series and preview to the Tampa Bay Series. Have a great, safe, and pleasant week, everybody. The week is starting to round out. It's hump day today. We're coming close to the weekend. So have a great, safe, and pleasant week. And let's go Phillies, hoping Bobby and the Wall of Fame shirt can bring them some luck. Peace out, everybody.